Well, welcome back to Flickering Light Productions. Sorry about the LED light. Still haven't fixed it yet. But if you saw my other video where I put the battery tray on the, the front hand part of my uh, Everest Gen 7. You can see the bolts where I bolted it there. I didn't alter the... Um, the flange that comes down, I didn't cut it down or anything like that. I just kept it the way it was. I tilted it backwards because you could tilt it frontwards or backwards due to the angle on the flange that came down. I went backwards because it seemed like it gave me the most clearance on the tires um, than tilting it the other direction. So anyway, I made the video that I went ahead and did it and I figured it was pretty stupid, but I go ahead and try it anyways. So I went out to Arapika today and ran it around. And being that it's probably, I'm guessing like 75% of the weight in the front, 25% in the back due to the, uh, the extenders that are on the wheel. Let me see here if I can get in there. Well, anyway, I got the, the, uh, the long extenders on the front, the shorter ones in the back, which makes the front tires heavier. And I could switch them to the back side and, you know, fluctuate the, the balance a little bit differently. I just left it the way that it was. And I, um, you, can, you can see the, what it does to the tires here. I mean, they're, they're really spongy, but yeah, it drops it down with a, with hardly doing anything. Sorry about my fingers there. And so I took it out to Arapika, ran it around. You can see how dusty and dirty it is compared to what it was in the last video. Not as disappointing as I thought it would be. It actually ran fairly decently. It I went down some steep inclines. Figured it would topple over because it was too front heavy. No, not so much. So, I'm really indecisive on this at this point. I didn't switch the tires around. I planned on doing that, and I was walking around. I, I broke my back three times, so I got to be really careful and, you know, not fall down because it might be a, kind of a major injury. So, um, after I fell down, of course... I uh, decided to go ahead and call it a day because I, I didn't want to risk anything more than I had to. But at the end of the day, not so bad. My major complaint was these, uh, what are they, J Concepts? In the last video, I called them landslides. They're actually called landmines. J Concept, uh landmines in a, in a 1.9 and uh, I guess I got the name right there well I don't like the tread pattern I might come in and um, you know cut off every other one or something I haven't got around to that yet because I'm going to order some Proline high raxes Seems to be what everybody likes. Everybody compares their, their tires to the Proline High Racks. So instead of farting around, might as well just go ahead and do what everybody else is doing. And I'm thinking once I get the uh, High Racks on this setup here, on the rig, I'll go out and still keep the heavy weight on the front tires. And if, if it changes it with the traction, well then, I, um, to the negative, I'll go ahead and swap them out with the back and uh, see if I can change the weight differential and get better reactions. But that's what I did today, and uh, so far, I'm not too disappointed in it. So, there you have it. I'll see you later. Like and subscribe. Thank you.